think it's time. It's time. What do you think? It's time, right? I think so, too. It's time! Harold's so enthusiastic. Carmel, it's his first try. I just hope she has a father's shimmer. Come on, Harold. Leave it. It's not going to hatch. I knew that one wouldn't hatch. I can always tell. It's a bad egg. Sometimes it's not meant to be, Harold. Let it go. No. I'm not giving up on my fry. It just needs a little help, is all. It's alive! My fry's alive! Da? It's a girl! I'm a father! Oh? Wow! Uh, oh, no. yeah. Yeah. What's on her face, Dad? Mm. The fry takes after her mother. Congratulations, Harold. Thank you! She's so... Beautiful. Hmm. So what are you naming her? Isabella. The name her mother wanted. Bella means beauty, but I'll call her Isabel for short. That's smart. So how do you feel? Fish-tastic! Great! <laughs> so, when are you leaving? What? Harold, old man, let's face the fish facts, shall we? Isabel is... different. Now, a human doesn't look too happy about that fact. Not happy at all, old man. You'll have to keep her hidden at all times if you stay here. You don't want your little Isabel getting tossed out of the aquarium into the ocean all by herself, like Clara, do you? But Thurston, this is our home. I don't want to take any chances. Harold. Harold, Harold, the way it looks, we'd, well, she'd be better off. Take your chances here, where she could never be seen, or out there. I won't let anything happen to my darling girl. I'll always protect you. Always. What are they doing, Dad? Flying. Whoa, flying? Wow! Wouldn't it be amazing to fly, Dad? Look at me! I'm a flying fish! Woohoo! <coughs> hey! Oh, watch out! Woo! Woohoo! Yippee! Isabel, you don't need to fly. All you need to do is. Stay out of sight! Dad, do we have to do this every time there's fish flakes? Your mother used to say, it doesn't matter how you look, it matters what you do. She was wrong. It matters to him. I took my eyes off her for a moment and she was gone. You miss her, don't you? Your mother hooked my heart the moment I saw her. Was she as beautiful as the sky? More beautiful. Hi, Jenny, Kirsten, Marcy! Why is it every time I see you, your spots keep getting bigger and bigger? Gross, and in all the wrong places. Alicia, have your purple and pink shimmer. Saving that for later. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Freak. <laughs> Dad, did 
did Mom have any friends? She had me. I bet I could find lots of friends in the ocean. It would be so cool. I think it'd be kind of hot. Look at the coral reef. It's beautiful. Look at that volcano. It's dangerous. and we had to leap over it or get burnt to a crisp. One, two, three, go! No, Isabel, wait! Ah! Hey! hey! Watch where you're you going. going. I'm sorry, I... Talk to the fin. <laughs> Looks like you've got your fins full. Ah, she's at that age, you know, wanting to explore. <laughs> she needs to be careful, Harold. If I had my way. <laughs> you need to keep an eye on her. Of course. That's why she's right by my side at all times. Isabel? Isabel, there you are. Come on, Dad. Isabel? Isabel? This is fun! Yeah, yeah, very fun. You guys want to play? No way. Gross. It doesn't look that bad. It looks a little fun. No. I've had fun before. This isn't it. You look like a rotten fish flake. Slime fight! All right, Isabel, enough fun for now. Let's get you cleaned up. Now remember, stay, stay under, under the, the arch. arch. Good. I'll be right over here. <laughs> Looks like all of our fry got slime. But this is nice. We really haven't floated out together since they arrived. Uh, wish I could float around, Harold, but, um, I have to, uh, wash my gills. Yes, th that's right, me too. And besides, shouldn't you be watching over Isabel? Hmm? No offense, Harold. We just have to go with the flow, you know? Let's not make waves with that. The cleaner fish might as well give up now. They'll never get this kind of sparkle on you. I could think of a lot cooler things than a good sparkle. Like what? Ow! Hope you don't bruise. Yeah, black and blue would totally clash with your pink spotty shimmer. Or maybe it would be an improvement. <laughs> Isabel, we were gonna go play in the grotto. Wanna come? I thought you guys were mad at me. Well, we were, but that's like ancient history. This is now. I can't, I have to stay hidden. From human? He's not here. Yeah, we saw him leave the boat after fish flakes. You can come out and play with us. We know lots of games. And we'll keep an eye out for human to come back. It'll be fun. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not supposed to. It'll be okay. We won't stay out long. You'll be back inside the castle before your dad wakes up. Okay, but just for a little while. Yay! <laughs> what do we play? Oh, uh, wait. I know. Bubble Trouble. My favorite! You go first. Okay. Trouble. Trouble. Bubble. Trouble. Trouble. Bubble. 
trouble. Bubble. <laughs> trouble. <laughs> Isabel, our human could toss you out of the aquarium into the ocean. I don't care. Besides, Mom's out there. Your mother is gone! <sighs> My darling girl, it's time to stop daydreaming about a bigger and better world when your world is right here. I don't want to lose you, too. You won't lose me, Father. I'm right here. figure out how to get back into the aquarium. Father? Then we'll just have to keep you out of sight. I mean, really, really out of sight. Maybe under a rock. She belongs. Hey, who's swimming in my light? There's only one fish from the aquarium that belongs here, and it is not me. It's not me! Is it? No, it's... Isabel! 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 Has anybody seen Isabel? You've seen Isabel? Maybe. A little. When? Where? Going to be all right. Whoa! You're a rock, and now you're a fish. How are you doing that? I'm a rockfish. We blend in. Cool. So, do you have a name? Isabel. What's yours? 
April. Pleasure to meet you, Isabel. I have never seen a fish fight a current like that before. A current? Where am I? Uh, the ocean. And you live here? Yes. This is kind of the place for a fish to be, you know? Yes, I think I do know. And you're a really real wild fish? Yep. A really real wild fish that lives right here in the ocean. What's out there? Lots of stuff, but mainly the volcano. I guess I'll have to cross it. I have to find my father. <laughs> you can't just cross the volcano. Why not? Well, there's lava, steam, lots of ridges and mountains, eruptions with boiling bubbles and hot ash. And that's just the start. How do you know? I've tried crossing in a few times to get to the coral reef. I bet your father is waiting for you there. It rocks. Oh yeah, the reef in the picture. What's a picture? Uh, well, it, it's a, a thing on a wall. Not important. Anyway, that's where I'm going. I've never been to a reef. What's it like? Ah. Uh, it's the most spectacular, beautiful, and best place in all of the ocean. It is especially for fish like me. And every fish that lives there gets along. Like you? You know, fish that are not the colorful, sparkly, shiny, ooh, ah type. They even have a queen. <gasps> I've never met a queen before. The reef is where you feel like you belong. Where you belong. A place I wouldn't have to hide? And where I'd have friends. Ooh, like him. Yeah, I'd be there if it weren't for the volcano and the island surrounding it. But I found the one little spot that opens into the ocean and the coral reef. I mean, there's still the hot steam and the lava, but <laughs> this time, I'm gonna do it. I've got a new way to cross it. It's called the dart. <laughs> and spin. It's sure to work. I think. I made it better work. Or it's gonna be bad. Bad, bad, bad. Isabel? Hello! with a lionfish is a good idea? He was so incredible. So are a lot of things in the ocean. That doesn't mean they are safe. I suppose you're going to say hello to those jellyfish next. Ooh, pretty. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're not from around here, are you? I'm from an aquarium. Father really liked it there, but I like it here. Even when you're about to be eaten. Ooh, what's that? What? Isabel, huh? no! Woo! Where are you going? Lunch. We'll need all our strength to get across the volcano. We? Yes. Did you think I'd leave you here where you might make friends with a barracuda? Ooh, a barracuda. Mm, I bet we could be BFFs. <gasps> what's a barracuda? The boat! It's leaving! Wait! Wait! It's no use. They've gone. How could they just leave us? They'll miss looking at us. They'll come back. Uh, what do we do? The boat will come back. Will it? In all my years in the tank, it, it, it only moves after big waves. It, it will return. We, we will wait here. Wait here? But Isabel's out there, near the volcano. 
<laughs> you mean Fish Fry City. <laughs> Did you say something? The volcano? Fry City. Fish go in, they don't come out. My daughter's out there. Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm so sorry. Look, I'd be happy to help you look for her. Well, uh, thank you, but I got this. The thing is, is I've been looking for my kids, too. Really? How long? Yeah, well, if you count the last algae bloom, the sardine migration, coral bleaching... Hey, hey, humans have to stop that, by the way. We don't need your help, you slimy-looking thing. We need to get back to the boat. Yeah. Suit yourself. Uh, wait! Uh, you there! Are you talking to me? Yes. It appears you... Uh, the name is Carl. Yes, all right, Carl. Uh, you've seemed to uncover something that... And your name is? Harold. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Harry. Harold. Harry, Harold, what's the difference? The difference is he's a purple queen Antheus fish. Carl, I need you to keep doing what you're doing. It appears there's a trail from Isabel, my daughter. Oh, yeah, look at that. We'll find her. All we have to do is follow the trail. Um, you're not seriously thinking of going with that thing. Hey, watch it. I think you mean sea cucumber, Missy. I know what you are. You're just gross. I have to find Isabel. Are you coming? No. No. <laughs> Heavens forbid. We don't want our human to see us mixing with the uh, local catch. <laughs> Yeah, and it's almost time for fish flakes. Uh, fish what? You know, dinner! Yeah, right, little lady. <laughs> you may be waiting a while. You know, Harry, we don't have all day. I mean, the cracks are getting bigger. And you see the closest star in the sky up there? It's daytime. There's no stars. Just the sun. <laughs> That's what I said. Anyway. After the closest star comes up twice, the volcano will be darn hard to cross. I've seen it before. I mean, with my own eyes. These cracks are almost ready. Ready for what? Ready for what? 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 To spew ash, lava, burning bubbles, catastrophe. Thank you. What? Mm. Come on, try it. Mm, mm. It's delicious. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Don't. Oh. It's beautiful. Shh. Look how it glides through the water. Looking for food for our trip across the volcano that we're never gonna take? Never say never, Ginger. We don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice, honey. June, you didn't see the cracks. They're getting bigger. Oh, honey, that's not all that's getting bigger. I lost two ounces, gained five, but still healthy as a horse. Great! Then you can swim even faster over the volcano. What makes you think you can cross that molten lava mountain? We can, and we will. I found an opening. And just think what's on the other side. Right, Seymour? The other side of what? Certain doom? It's all gonna end in disaster. I, for one, am officially <laughs> fabulous. Wait until you see what I found. It's my latest treasure, part of the Herman collection, named after yours truly. 
Isn't it simply amazing? Not as amazing as you. Just when I thought the ocean couldn't get any better, you are so, so, just look at you. Not, not that it's bad, it's good. So, so good. You are bumpy and floppy and, and amazing. Gang, this is Isabel. She's coming to the reef with us to look for her dad. That is some serious shimmer. Better than any treasure I've ever seen. I love the ocean. It's so weird. Oh, those are some seriously scary cool teeth. Uh... Was it something I said? Oh, honey, that's Beatrice. She's quite skittish. Now you. See how seriously scary you are? Oh, Apex predators are awesome. Nice to meet you, Beatrice. Uh, nice to meet you too. Isabel. Welcome to our home sweet home, Isabel. Not for long. This cave's no match for the next eruption. Weak walls, flaky rock. We'll be much safer at the reef, June. The reef looked really neat in the picture, and it has a queen. You're gonna love the warmer waters and colorful corals. It's the perfect place for us. Even with blobs and bumps? And bellies? Especially with blobs and bumps and bellies. We'll fit right in. Hey, how do you know so much about the reef? It used to be my home, but rockfish tend to wander and well, well, I wandered a little too far. So now, it's getting close. I need to find my father. I'm sure he'll love meeting you. Oh, honey. You should stay with us, but we can't leave the cave. Can't or won't? Can't. How would you feel if every fish in the ocean looked at you like you were some sort of freak? Who are you calling a freak? I know how you feel, June. That was my life in the aquarium. But the reef is supposed to be different. All the fish there get along swimmingly. June, the volcano's going to blow, and you'll be feeling a lot worse if you don't come with us. Besides, do you really expect me to leave? Only family I've got. <gasps> if you won't listen to me, then listen to the volcano. Come with us. I promise it won't be that bad. Just take the first stroke. One fin in front of the other. Well, now, I mean, a little open ocean would be great for my scales. <laughs> this cave is getting a little stuffy. <laughs> nope, not ready. Thought I was, but I'm not. <laughs> Gotta stay here. I bet I could lose an ounce with a short swim. Better yet, uh, I can just swim in place here. See, it won't be so scary if we all go together. No rocky walls, just water. Miles and miles of water. I'm ready to go back in the cave. be with you the whole time. Right, Isabel? Uh-huh. Hey, is it gonna stay this dark? Uh, until morning? Pretty much. Don't you guys have lights? Lights? This is the ocean. <laughs> of course. What ocean has lights? Does this help? Oh, yes, very much. Uh, thank you. Ready? I have 
had to do it. The space is marvelous. April, what's what's over the dune? This. My father could see this. I, I told him I didn't care, but, but I do. I really, really do. And you can tell him yourself when we cross the volcano. These cracks are way bigger, like blue whale big, giant squid long, and colossal clam wide. They shouldn't be this big. Not yet. We better move! 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 <sighs> Ginger, you got a light? Let's go, guys! Fish wants to dart as much as I do. But look at them. We'll leave as soon as it's safe. This coral sure looks comfy enough for a good night's sleep. Uh, oh, uh, yep. Yeah, oh, this is so comfy. Good night, Father. I love you. Excuse me. So then I looked at the shrimp and said, Buddy, you're shrimping. Shrimpity, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. And he was short. I mean, I meant no offense, but got a ball in my sand. Perhaps we can swim in silence for a while. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Fine. No problem. I'm quiet. Not moving my mouth. I'm good. I mean, you just gotta face the facts. You are who you are. Why hide it, you know? Must you do that? Hey, sorry, I can't help it. I come from a gassy family. Hey, uh, you ever been worked over by a shrimp? I mean, shrimp do not bite clean. It worked out great, though. I hit him with my intestines. Splat! Straight out of my butt! Wait, you said you hit him in the face? With your intestines? Yeah. Us sea cucumbers, when we become enraged, we fire our intestines out of our backsides. Your backsides? Yeah, right out of our rumps. You want to see? No, uh, that won't be necessary. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. Okay, well, it's a great defense. My kids were really good at it. I mean, they used to have these competitions to where they were throwing their intestines everywhere. It was floating all over the place. It was fantastic. Made me a proud papa. Where are your children now? No, oh, let me guess. They swam off because you were too gassy. <laughs> well, it was a beautiful day. Sun, sand, plenty to eat. Now, I never saw it coming. The net, 
It was covered by sand, you see? And one minute, we were together, and the next, I found a hole in the net. But not before it carried me across the volcano. Oh, 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 Harry, 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 Harry. Be cool, the claw boys. Hey, guys, it's all right. We're just passing through. We don't want any trouble. Oh, I am so sorry. So, so sorry. Oh, boy. Let's go, Harry. <laughs> Did you see those intestines fly? Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I don't think we lost them. Ah, show your gills, Harry. That trick works every time. We're in the clear. Nothing like the light of day to remind us where we belong. We belong together in the rare, remarkable coral reef. April, did you just see how those fish looked at us? I can't take it anymore! You don't all have to go looking at me that way. I told you the cave is the best place for us. Let's get moving then. What has gotten into you all? It's my pot belly, isn't it? I know. It's a lion fish. Enough of this neighborhood. I'm with you. Uh, this is just like the aquarium. Oh, I miss the sunshine. Hmm. There will be time for sunbasking at the coral reef later. I'm not sure what magic this is, but I'm starting to feel funny. Is this happy? I feel lighter. <laughs> I'm so relaxed. <sighs> it's gonna be a sunshiny day. I've had all the excitement I can handle for one day. Kiss, tell me about it. This ocean is so filled with treasure. But 
what's wrong? Uh, I'm fine, just uh, taking in the scenery. You sense a tremor? Better check for cracks. Uh, I know it looks pretty bad. Actually, it's pretty solid. We're okay. For now. <laughs> I mean my scales. Oh, honey. You think we care? Well, no, but I have to care. All of you are, are so cool looking like rocks and sponges. My scales were my one pretty thing about me. And now they're gone. You would think being a fish without a stomach would help me keep the ounces off, but all I want to do is eat. Yeah, well, how would you like to literally be a blob? You know, it's not a pretty sight. None of us are. It doesn't matter, especially where we're going. But don't you see, in the aquarium, things were different. I can't go to my father looking like this. He'd hide me forever. Hey, it doesn't matter how you look. If you ask me, it matters more what you do. My mother used to say that. Honey, give your father a chance. Hey, what about giving yourself a chance, June? Come with us. That's what I keep saying. Come now, before the lava and raining ash start oozing all over us. It would be pretty hard to be friends all covered in lava. Friends? If you're okay with some missing scales. And you're okay with some lumps? And bumps. Of course. So are you coming? Yes! We're coming, Dad! Wherever you are. Whoa. Jimmy! Oh, oh Jimmy, eight legs! Hey, I heard you got caught up and put in a jaw. And you were right. I unscrewed it and got out. Oh, thanks for saving our butts back there. But, uh... What are you doing way out here? Gliding through on the annual migration. Who's the fin? Harry, Jimmy Eight Legs. Jimmy Eight Legs, Harry. <laughs> nice to meet you, Harry. Yeah, likewise. Hey, uh, what's happening here? Isabel's trail. I can't find Isabel's trail. Is this it? Yes! That's it! That's it! Uh-oh. What do you suppose is down there? One way to find out. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Hey, we're still moving in the right direction. Speaking of moving, well, I've got to glide. See you around. Thank you! All right, let's go, Harry. Hey, I just called you Harry. <laughs> I know. There's something to be said for moving. I think my days of being a blob are over. At this rate, I'm gonna be nothing but fins and bones. Are you okay? <sighs> Yeah, my, my fins are a little tired. Well, now that you mention it, my belly is a little achy. And my light is fading. My lumps are saggy. You guys are wimps. I never had so much fun in my life. Who am I kidding? I feel bloated. Oh. We can take a break if you want. I have a better idea. Just one little ride. Come on! We can rest and be there in no time. Isabel. No! Oh, no! Relax. What? Do it! That's it. A few more seconds.
You sure know how to keep things lively. You okay? The sun was so warm on my face, but I like breathing better. Looks like we got off track. It all looks so blue. I've never come this way before. Don't worry, honey. I have a special trick up my pouch. What are you doing? Using my lateral lines. Lateral lines? Yes, you have them. Every fish has them. Seahorses have a lot of them. The electromagnetic fields in the ocean are very strong along the volcano. Once my lateral lines pick them up, we'll be on our way. There. Volcano, here we come. Guess I'm a little rusty. Honey, you try. Now, close your eyes and take a deep breath. Now feel the Earth's magnetic field with your body. Eyes closed. Deep breath. I don't feel anything, June. Wait for it. Tremor? You felt a tremor? This way! The volcano is this way! Ah, uh, good effort. Metal. It can mess with your lines. Hello? Ralph! Come outside. We have guests. Did you say something, Mona? Yes, Ralph. We have visitors. For dinner? No, we, we were swimming to the volcano on our way to find my father. Oh, you lost your father? Ralph, we need to help. What? We don't need any kelp. Help. Help. Mona. What's the matter? We can help you, dearie. We've lived in these waters for more tides than I care to count. Oh, thank you. For what? Quiet, Ralph. The volcano is... Hmm. Oh, dearie. It could be this way. Or... This way, or, hmm. Ah, good grief. The reef, it's that away, way past the volcano. Thank you so much. That's right. The volcano is this way, through the tunnel. The tunnel? Follow me. You'll be safe in there. Swim until you reach the end. At the end, there will be an opening in the ocean, right by the volcano. Thank you again, Mona, and you too, Ralph, for your help. For the last time, I don't want any kelp.
Just give me a minute. Sometimes you can be such a fish head. certain fish that has been looking for you. My father? You've seen my father? Yep. Did you hear that? Where did you see him? Across the ridge. Getting awful toasty, if you ask me. Hold on, Dad. I'm coming. Wow! Real sea chimneys. Oh, yeah. My kids would play for hours in them. Popping in and out, up and down, running all over the place, getting real filthy. Isabel, too. What is it with kids and dirt? I don't know. They just like having fun. Not quite sure how getting dirty is fun, but what are you gonna do? They're kids. I'd give anything to see her dirty face right now. Yeah, I miss my little gut busters, too. Try here. Over here. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe we uh, need to scale back a little. Let's get, but no, I, I didn't. I didn't mean. I didn't mean, mean, mean that. All right. All right. Let's see what we have over here. Oh, oh, look, here we go, here we go. Well, uh, now that, uh, it, this doesn't mean anything, nothing at all. Nah, nothing, it's right down there. That, that's good right there, okay. Not a thing. Isabel? Isabel? Have you seen my daughter? About this long, pink and purple with some spots and missing scales. Oh, what are you doing? We have to keep going, keep looking. end of the line? No! This isn't it! Yes, it is. Look, let's head back to those stuffy pants fish friends of yours. I mean, Isabel's smart. She got a good noggin. I mean, I bet she found her way back by now. Yeah, I'm sure of it. 100%. Crossing wouldn't be the same without you. It's impossible to cross. We can do this, June. It's time to darken spin. 
Maybe it's better to spin and then dart. Hmm. Okay. Looks like it's time for the bob and weave. doing the right thing, keeping her hidden. But now she's out here in a world I never prepared her for. She was always so inquisitive. Me, I was the one who was afraid. This whole time I wanted to bring her home, but now I realize that home is wherever she is. <sighs> Doesn't matter now anyway. Isabel's gone. I'll never see her again. Hey, that's crazy talk. It matters to me. Come on. Isabel. She's gone. Oh, Harold, I'm so sorry. Here we go again. Does this mean we are finally seeing eye to eye? Before the life of me, where is that? It simply isn't safe here any longer. What was the volcano stirring up the water like this? No, 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 no. Perhaps if we swim in the direction it went, we'll find it. Harold, since uh, Isabel is gone, uh, you can come with us. Gee, what a nice offer. Harold, you come with us. Or you can come with me. I have a couple of sandy spots. With you. You wasted so much time belching and burping that now my daughter's gone. Don't you understand? I, 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 I actually do. You know, Harry, I really thought we were friends. Friends, freak. Come on, Harold. It's 
Now, what's a fish like you have to cry about? I, I was looking for my father, and... <laughs> Awfully familiar. Isabel? Uh, Isabel! You're Isabel! Swim! 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 Whoa! I mean, your father is Harold. You know my father? Yes, of course I know your father, Harold. I mean, we went looking for you, but then you, we thought you were, uh... But, uh, never mind, it doesn't matter. You're here. Well, I am, but where is my father? Oh, your father? He's gone. Gone? Uh, yeah, I mean, I tried to tell him, but there was an explosion, and it was like a pow, boom, bang, and then all of a sudden the lava was dripping, and it was like, ah! Oh, no! It's lava! So he freaked out. Explosion? So my father is really gone? Well, I told him it's normal, but they don't call the volcano Fresh Fry City for nothing. Fry? Yeah, you know, because of the hot steam and the molten lava. I get it. So he got fried? Almost. So anyway, there was no persuading him. He had to come back here. Then he followed those snobby vertebrae to that stupid reef. You're not like them, are you? Hey! I sure hope not. I mean, you know, I may not be some hotty toddy purple queenie thingamajiggy. I might be gassy, not classy, but heck, I've got to count for something. Hey! I'm sorry, you said my father's alive? Yeah, he's alive. <laughs> what made you think otherwise? But where is he exactly? Uh... That way. <sighs> If only there was a way to get there faster. Whoa, watch it now. Where's my butt? Well, it's not every day you get to go flying through the ocean. Whoa. Actually. <gasps> Look! The coral reef! Hey, Isabel! Wait! You know I'm a sea cucumber. I can't move that fast! Funny. It looks like they're all mingling together. And they look like they're enjoying it. Gross. What more do I have to do? I said you and Isabel was one thing. <laughs> and now all of you. You <laughs> just look at all of you. This is wow. <laughs> At least we've heard the last from Isabel. <laughs> Father! 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 Isabel! Father! Isabel! I thought you were gone, and, and I was... Where have you been? And how did you... Oh, Father, I've missed you. I'm so sorry for everything. Oh, my darling girl. I thought you were... Just let me look at you. Look at her! <laughs> She's even uglier than she was before! Hey! Who are you calling ugly? April! Sorry we're late. Father, these are my friends. They saved my life and helped me find you. And now we're all here together. Finally, where we belong. Home. You... You don't belong with us, Harold. Never did. This is not your home, and as for them, you'd better go, Harold. Who made you king of the coral? But where? 
I'm just saying, old man. Take your chances here. Or out there. But, Father, this is our reef, too. I'm staying. Isabel, I'm not leaving you. You're coming with me. We'll find a place where I can protect you. I can protect myself. Please, Father. Just go already. You're such an eyesore. Enough! My mother always said, it's not what you look like, it matters what you do. My friends taught me that I'm beautiful because of who I am. And I used to think I needed your friendship. But now I know I don't. You say I don't belong with you? Well, you're right. I don't belong with you. I belong with them. Nobody talks to me like that. We're out of here. Oh no, someone's looking for dinner. Oh, what's for dinner? Hi! Jenny! Ew, take your fins off me. Stay quiet, unless you want to be eaten. Where are you going? To go get my daughter. Isabel would do it for you. He's right, Jenny. Isabel needs a fin. We need to put these shiny scales to use. Where do you think you're going? We can't just float here and watch. I have an idea. Queen 
Lyra. Harold? You're real. I mean, really real. Oh, yes. I'm really real. I've been here all this time, thinking I'd never see you again. Isabel and I thought the same thing about you. Isabel? Hello, Mother. Oh, my darling girls. I'm sorry I was such a fish head. Especially to you. Ah, Harry, you don't have to say sorry to friends or family. My darling queen. And my beautiful princess. now. Go fish! I never thought I'd say this, but I like the reef. I can really pull my weight around here. Isabel, now that the reef is our home, I want you to, to be you. For all to see and admire. Because it doesn't matter how you look. It, it just, just matters, matters what, what you, you do. do. After all, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Thank you. 